when I was nine years old, my parents had sex in front of me. Ew, dude, really? Oh no, but could you imagine? For me, going into Colombiana did not have a lot going for it. There was a weak trailer, and other than Zoe Saldana, no real cast interest. The movie turns out extremely cliche. It does start out very strong, and Zoe Saldana has a solid performance. Sure, she's not the most believable action hero, but she handles it and carries this movie fairly well. The thing about Colombiana is there's really never anything offensively bad that can make you angry enough to hate this movie. Don't get me wrong though, there are times where this movie is a complete insult to logic just because it does ridiculous, contrived things that there are no way are ever plausible. There is a guy who shoots up a street, and as the police arrive, nothing ever happens. He just walks away unscathed like no one... everybody saw him shoot, but, but no one does anything. Of course there are times where you accept it's an action movie, things are going to be implausible at times, and you shake it off, but there are times where it is just so, so ridiculous. And there are things that are very important to a Vengeance film, and the number one thing is the setup. You really have to make people care about what happens. In this case, you know, we get it from the trailer, her parents being murdered in front of her. It really has to be powerful enough to drive the rest of the movie, or else you just don't care what happens, because it's supposed to be this fuel, this anger that leads you through the movie because you want vengeance for these people just as much as she does. But that really doesn't happen. In the trailer, we even get, and the trailer, I was not crazy for the trailer, there is that repetition line, never forget where you came from. That really appears once in this movie, but I think it could have worked as a reminder of why she's doing what she's doing, and maybe once or twice that comes up, but not as much as you'd expect, and then you kind of lose that fuel and you just don't care anymore. One of the saving graces of the movie, and I say saving grace very loosely because there is some awesome action in this movie. It is very cool when you get down to it. There, it's extremely well choreographed. There is this one scene of stealth that was really cool to watch it play out, and on the other hand, there is also very well done hand-to-hand -hand combat. There are times in this movie where you can see specks of light of a good movie shining through, but they are bogged down by uh, useless, pointless subplots. Some that even start out great, but eventually just plummet because there is no use for them. They don't add anything to the context or the overall story of the film. There are times in this movie where I just laughed at how ridiculous it was, and other times where I actually liked what I was watching. You know, me and my friends, we had fun because some cool action and Zo Saldana. It is an immediately forgettable film. When it comes down to it, Colombiana is a movie with steep ups and downs, which includes poorly written dialogue and useless subplots, and on the other hand, stylistic action sequences and solid performances, which equates to a movie that I don't care enough about to hate, and I don't care about enough to really like. Essentially, I'm indifferent to this movie, which gives it a deserving middle rating of a 5 out of 10. Now that I've seen and reviewed for you all the wide releases of the weekend, as far as recommendations go, our Aid Brother would be the only one that I could give a full recommendation, but I would definitely go see Don't Be Afraid of the Dark over Columbiana. Although if you live on the eastern seaboard, you're probably not worried about seeing a movie this weekend. Who are you? Not room service. Well, f*** me.